Hey everyone, before I get into this video, I want to remind you to enter our giveaway for a Switch, a Nintendo Switch, a PlayStation 5, or an Xbox Series X. We also have another giveaway going on for two copies of Pikmin 3 Deluxe. To enter, head down to the description, uh, find all the details, and I wish everyone luck. Alright, EA. Oh, EA. They're at it again, slapping Nintendo Switch owners in the face. Now remember, EA promised more support for Switch this year. Something like seven games they announced at their EA Play event or whatever during the summer. Okay, fine. They're technically giving us more games. But they still can't seem to treat us as equals. So, they announced a new game today. Need for Speed Hot Pursuit Remastered. Now, it's actually a pretty good game, the original release, and this remastered version, again, looks really, really good. Uh, it actually comes out pretty soon, too, this November. November 6th, in fact, if you are a PlayStation 4, Xbox One, or PC player, although it's like $10 cheaper on PC, whatever. doesn't matter. The point is that it's coming out on all consoles, it says in the announcement. Except for Switch. It's releasing on Switch one week later. Now, what's the number one complaint that we always hear? You know, why won't EA give us certain games? Why can't we get Madden? Why can't we get their full slate of games that make sense to have on the platform? Why can't we get that? Well, because EA games don't sell on Switch. But when you treat the Switch gamer like a second-hand citizen... What do you expect? Do you honestly think sales for the Nintendo Switch version of Need for Speed Hot Pursuit Remastered would be the same a week after it's already out on all the other platforms where people that really want to play this game might not be wanting to wait a week? When you guys know the primary sales period for any video game ever released is launch week? Sounds to me like uh, they're just, again treating Switch like a second-hand platform. And it's silly because the game's clearly ready on Switch. There's no logistical reason to delay it a week. Even if even if you want to argue, the reason is they're waiting on getting enough Switch cartridges and it led to a delay physically. You could release the game digitally and people would be understanding. Like, we're, we're understanding that, you know, it's harder to get Switch cartridges than it is to get discs. There's only one supplier of those cartridges, that being Nintendo, and there's been a pandemic all year. We can kind of understand if there was something like that and you want to say, hey, look, it's delayed a week on Switch just because we're waiting on cartridges and we didn't want to delay everyone else. But you can still buy it digitally day one. No, no, EA, and, and again, this is me trying to give EA a valid excuse, by the way. I'm not saying there actually is a valid excuse. This is me trying to, like, play devil's advocate. Oh, maybe there is, a, a, a like, a real reason outside of their control. It has to be a week later. Nope, nope, nope. EA won't even comment. They, they, they've been requested for a comment by several media outlets on why the Switch version is coming out a week later. Nothing. Dead silence. As per the course for EA. So, to EA's credit, hey, we're supposed to be getting other games. They, you, know, you know what big game that some people are actually waiting for on Switch? Apex Legends. They announced Apex Legends is coming to Switch. They didn't tell us when. We haven't heard any details since. For all we know, it's never coming. Because they do this. They'll announce things for Switch, and then they'll screw the Switch consumer over. Now, at least they're not charging us $10 more this time around for a game. But still, I honestly think that EA just doesn't understand the leading platform in the world right now. Because that's what Switch is. PlayStation 5 is not here yet. Okay, We all presume PlayStation 5 is going to be a big deal. Xbox Series X probably going to be a big deal. But right now, the leading platform in the world, not the one with the most total sales, that's PlayStation 4, but the one that's exciting, that's leading all the sales charts, and everyone is buying it in the oodles and is dominating all the top 10 software, that is Switch. So you would figure, hey, at least this year, at least in 2020, you would try to treat the Switch consumer on equal grounds with every other video game consumer. For some reason, PC consumers are being treated a little better by having $10 cheaper, but I guess it's probably only digital on PC. I don't know if there's even going to be a physical version. Maybe that's the logic there. I don't know, but I think this is incredibly, incredibly short-sighted by EA. Uh, and it just further goes that EA can't seem to treat Switch consumers as equals. Now, what could EA do to rectify this? Well, one, they could stop charging 
$59.99 for an old version of FIFA. You realize me buy FIFA this year, it's just a roster update. And it's a roster update on a game that was created like back in 2013. And they're just repackaging it and, and putting the new coat of paint and just giving it to you. And now, granted, they kind of do this in general anyways. But FIFA today on other platforms is so much different than it is on Switch. Why can't we get a current FIFA? Why can't we get a current Madden? Because yeah, nobody in the United States would like to have Madden on the go. No, not at all. That doesn't sound like fun. No, we'll just stick with our Madden mobile on our mobile phones. Yeah. Because Madden Mobile sucks. Granted, Madden 21 kind of sucks this year too. But it's besides the point. EA, how hard is it to support Switch and treat Switch like an equal to everyone else in the industry? How hard is it? Pray tell me. How hard How hard can it be? How hard can it be to look at Switch as a... Like, here's my Switch. Missing a Joy-Con. If you saw a prior video, you might know why my Joy-Con's missing. Uh, but... Like, how hard is it to treat, like, a Switch consumer like everybody else? I, I'm actually asking because I don't know how, why it's so difficult for EA to do this. I mean, I'll give EA a little bit of credit. They're not Activision. Activision just, like, ignores Nintendo for the most part. I know we ended up getting Spyro Reignited and we, and we got Crash Insane Trilogy, but that was because of some rogue developers. That had nothing to do with them actually planning to ever release them on Switch. So what are we to do as Switch consumers? that actually enjoy EA games. There's a new Dragon Age in the works. God forbid that's ever going to be on a Switch. Thankfully, of all the companies that, that, that are screwing Switch people over, it's a company that most of us just don't seem to care about as much as, as we maybe once did. But still, they make good games still. EA still has some good games. If you think EA doesn't have any good games, you're kidding. Rogue Squadron. Rogue Squadrons just came out. Or, I'm sorry, I guess it's just called Squadron, it's not Rogue Squad. Looks great! Looks fantastic! It's reviewing well! It's only 40 bucks! Yeah, not as if we were gonna get that on Switch. All EA has to do is look in the mirror and say, hey, Nintendo Switch matters. We wanna make games for a platform that matters. We wanna make top tier you know, versions of our games for a platform that matters. But no. And this isn't me trying to knock Need for Speed, you know, Hot Pursuit, Remastered. Like, I'm not trying to knock that game. It's probably going to be fantastic on Switch because there's actually a history of the Need for Speed franchise, um, like, actually being a decently performing game on Switch. Not in terms of sales, but I mean, like, the version that we get on Nintendo platforms tends to be a high-quality port version. So it's going to be good. I'm not, I'm not doubting how good it's going to be. But it's infuriating to see EA continue, continue to beat us in the head and then tell us, oh, we've, we have more support for Switch than ever, but we still can't support you equally with the games we do bring. I mean, God, I, I, I honestly think vapor, like, like Apex Legends for Switch is vaporware. I'm, I'm just throwing that out. It's vaporware. It doesn't, it doesn't exist. All right, folks. I'm Nintendo Robert just from Nintendo Prime. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hit that like button. Comment down below, subscribe, let's get on our road to 100,000 subscribers, and I'll catch you guys all in the next video. Yes.